Hey internet! So in my last Sephora haul, I showed you the new Formula X nail polish set that I got from Sephora along with a few others, and that was kind of a hint as to the fact that I have a problem when it comes to nail polish. That problem has now lasted for pretty much a decade. Um, I started to be allowed to wear nail polish when I was 10 years old, and ever since then I have spent my pocket money on nail polish. I have just always loved it. It's a combination of loving to feel put together, just feeling good about myself if I feel like the details are there and finished, and just the experience of polishing my nails, of doing my own manicures, I find extremely therapeutic. If I feel stressed out, it is one of the first things that I do, that and take a bath. Those are like my two things that I just find really calm me down. So. That kind of explains to you how my collection has grown so much over the years and now that I have my own apartment I also have a little storage system that I want to share with you and hopefully you guys will find this video just kind of fun and informative. I'm definitely going to share my favorites with you along with a few that I think are kind of duds especially for my skin tone or my taste and which ones I think are real classics that I'm really happy that I invested in. So I know that you guys really just want to see the goods right now so I'm just gonna get right into it and show you my big fat nail polish collection. So you can see that I store my nail polish in what is basically a nail polish version of a spice rack. It's custom made for nail polish and then the vendor, I believe it was an eBay vendor, that I purchased this from actually dyed it the color that I wanted that I thought would go well with my home decor so this is just a really great solution for me because it actually fits every single one of my nail polishes perfectly which means I really shouldn't buy any more. So here in the corner is the Formula X basic set so this has a base coat, a cleanser, and a top coat that is very very shiny. I'm actually wearing Formula X nail polishes on my nails right now. It's this particular red color which is called Flashy. And I won't go through the names of all of these because this is basically just the 22 sets so this is everything that comes in that. There's a second row behind these and the reason that I've put some at the front and some at the back is because because the back are ones that I don't see myself wearing quite as much so there's the ones like the blacks and the whites and the blues and the bright purples that maybe I'll wear during the summer or something like that but these 12 polishes that are at the front I consider to be the wearable shades in the 22 set of course that's subjective so you may not agree with that but just kind of looking at the whole set that's what I was thinking that these are the ones that I would reach for the most. Um, then I purchased two other shades from the new Formula X line separately. One of them is Impeccable and the other one is Love Chemistry which is a beautiful rose gold glitter. So this is my Formula X collection from Sephora. I've had it for about a week now and I'm still just as in love. Um, this manicure is a second day manicure and there are still no chips and it is still super shiny so I don't think Formula X is an at home gel set because it comes off with regular acetone but I think it's about as close as you're going to get without the hassle or the price tag. Then on the second shelf of my rack I have all of my pinks and neutrals. I'm not going to go through every single one of these um, but here I have nail polishes like Ballet Slippers and Fiji from SC. I like these, they're classics, but you should be warned that they are streaky and there's just nothing that can be done to avoid having to apply about three coats, which does then decrease the amount of wear that you get out of them. And then I have Deborah Lipman's I'm Not Innocent, which is pretty good, but I would say maybe not quite worth the price tag. Over here I have some OPIs that I really like. I have I Theodora You. This is from the Wizard of Oz collection. It's a really great baby pink. And then I have Sweetheart from SC, which is a really classic, very, very light, barely there pink. My overall favorite, which you can see from how much I've used of it, is my Chanel Jade Rose. This is what I call my interview color because it has a very slight shimmer to it, or not a shimmer, but kind of a seashell finish. Um, and it is extremely long-lasting, 
very barely there, very polished looking, and you really just need two thin coats to get a beautiful finish. So I really think that Jade Rose, if you're looking for really good work polish, is completely worth the money. Um, then for a slightly more peachy nude, I have Butter London's Kerfuffle, which is really, really pretty, especially for the spring. It's a really pretty pastel. A more affordable option, I really like NYC's 200, which is another kind of barely their pink. Towards more of the medium pink kind of spectrum, I have Suzy Sell's Sushi by the Seashore. Quite the tongue twister, but it's a really pretty shimmery kind of medium pink. For a kind of brighter Barbie type pink, I like Revlon's Cafe Pink. It applies really, really smoothly and has a good shine as well. And then what I would call my engagement ring polish, if that makes any sense, as in when you look at photos on Tiffany's and the mannequin's hands just look so perfect, but not like they have really anything on their nails, um, this is Orly's First Kiss. Really beautiful finish, very creamy, slightly on the peachier side, but not as peachy as the Butter London one, has a little bit more pink to it. So this is, I think, an absolute essential for me, at least. So one of my favorite shelves is this kind of middle putty and metallic shelf. So this has a lot of my most worn nail polishes. There is Chanel's infamous Particulière, which is just kind of the classic one that led the world, if that makes sense. And there's Mink Muffs from Essie, which is a brown um, kind of neutral putty color. Yummy Mummy from Butter London, which is a little bit lighter and more wearable if you're hesitant. Then there's Cosmonaut Tonight from OPI. This is actually not really a putty color. It's more of a champagne with some shimmer. Really, really gorgeous. And then there's Sephora for OPI's Metro Chic, which was an absolute success when it came out about four years ago. Everybody had this. I still have a nice fresh bottle, which is nice because I don't think that they really make it anymore, that they have the Formula X polishes. Then this is kind of a unique metallic. This is Orly's Shanty Peach, which is a kind of coppery peach mid-tone color. Then there's some Butter London ones. So I have Aston, which is a kind of metallic pink. And All Hail the Queen, which is definitely darker than Yummy Mummy. It's more of a purpley kind of mid-tone. And then there's the Old Bill, which is a kind of true bronze gilded color from Butter London. If you're interested in a rose gold nail polish, I have some options for you. This is Orly's Rage, which is probably the most famous. Behind it is another Sephora by OPI nail polish called Chestnuts For You, which is just slightly chunkier than not Orly's Rage, but the same color. And then behind that is Deborah Lippmann's Glamorous Life, which is a smooth rose gold. If you're not one for glitter, then this one's for you. And then before that is one of my all-time favorite subtle glitters, which is Essie's Pure Pearl Faction um, top coat, and it's from the Lux Effects line. It's really beautiful and subtle. Onto the most retro shelf, these are all of my reds and fuchsias. So for a shimmery classic red, I have an affair in red square. And then for a bright red, I have Butter London's Pillar Box Red. I have Old Blighty, also from Butter London. Probably my most recommended red would be OPI Red because I find it incredibly long wearing and just absolutely beautiful on everybody. Then I have some Orly and Essie, just kind of dark berry colors. One of my favorite fuchsias is OPI's Senorita Rosarita and um, absolute props go to my friend Barrett for recommending this to me. It's an absolute gorgeous fuchsia with really pretty very, very subtle gold flex in it, um, really just more of a gold shimmer. And then one of my favorite kind of fuchsia reds is Essie's She's Pampered. It really is the midpoint between a red and a pink. It's really, really pretty and wearable. And then over here I have more of a kind of orangey red, which is OPI's Red My Fortune Cookie. And then on this shelf, which is my vampy vampire shelf, on the left I have Essie's Angora Cardi. I have two Chanel polishes. The green toned one is Chanel's Black Pearl, which is really beautiful and unusual. My shimmery reddish purple is OPI's Every Month's Oktoberfest, which is really gorgeous. And there's Ilamasco's Scarab, which is interesting because it's a red with green shimmer in it. Very unusual. To the right of that, I have a Butter London polish called Tramp Stamp. Not a very pretty name, but it's a really gorgeous raisin color. 
on the very very top shelf you can see those are the polishes that I don't wear very much so from the left there's a kind of streaky Butterland and silver one some NYC ones that I haven't taken to too much um, then there's Essie's Mamba which is kind of way too orangey for me for a nude then there are some base coats, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. I keep those at the top now because I'm mainly using my Formula X system, but that is still my very favorite top coat if you are looking for an inexpensive one. Then I have Dior's Gel Finish Top Coat, which I don't recommend. Totally not worth the money. Really wish I'd returned it because it just does not dry well on nails. It actually makes your drying time longer. And then to the right, just kind of peeking out behind a matte top coat by Essie, is the Gel Lab System from Deborah Lipman, which I do like, but I don't think that it's as good as Formula X, although it does definitely make your nail polish last longer. I don't think that it's as shiny or quick drying as Formula X. So that is my nail polish collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your current favorite nail polish in case I decide to have a weak moment in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!